How often is that going to be changed? Okay. What's that? The, the battery. battery. Uh, we were trying to estimate that. Um, for people wearing it 16 hours a day, battery will last about 10 days. Um, so he's going to be wearing it a lot less than that. So it might get two weeks, maybe three weeks. This is a standard but battery, especially? Yes, no. standard hearing aid battery, and you'll get a whistle from it. Let's see. If it's not in the ear properly, it'll whistle. Okay. Because some of the sound that's supposed to be going down in the ear canal uh, will leak out around the edges and get back up to the microphone, just like they go hear someone give a speech to their PA system and turn mm -hmm. it to the up to get it out and your hands up by the microphone it can make it whistling. And we don't want it whistling when it's just wearing it. Oh you're such a champ. Let's take this thing off of here. Where is it? You're lying on it. Sort of. Okay. He thinks he has it. He thinks now, he, should he be showing any response to this at all? No, he may not Probably show a response not. Not in a couple of weeks. Yeah. You have to work with him in small bits of time for putting that in so he learns not to shake it out. If you can get a, a hand signal command to tell him not to shake, that's even better. I hear no whistle. How about you, huh? No, no, no. Oh, I thought you were waiting for him to clean your earwax. Yeah, right. Yeah. He was about to do that. Um, yeah, what do I need to make that one system? Right, yeah. yeah. Well, no, this, um, no, we were in the 50 They will let you know NHL. what you need to know. Um, to I'll just hook him up. And... But, but we weren't getting anything at 50, so. Let's go up to like 80, 12, 86. Okay, um, everything's in. Do you want to grab the box for me? Yes. Oh, it's in here. So. Alright, I'll let you... Oh, is it giving you some interference? Flore overhead fluorescence. Do it, yeah. Basically, when we do this test, we're going to do it two times. Because okay. you can see there's a lot of other little random mm -hmm. activity. What we want to see is what replicates. What's there both times? And that nice that little dip right there is, is both times. So we're feeling really good about that. Okay. Um, which is going to give us a really nice baseline for putting the hearing aid on and doing nothing. 
other test. I'm going to go down to 72. Basically 50? Yeah. And we'll just see what we get here. Uh -huh. This is great. This gives us a nice baseline for putting that. Maybe I'm just telling on. Debbie, before we got all in there and all wired up, I probably should put here and get make sure it fits. Presentable. Mm -hmm. is worn around his collar, okay? So it's gonna go around, around Timmy's neck. And then you're gonna to have to uh, hook it onto the collar without knotting it, because this actually is an antenna. Okay. Now you can take it, if you look at this, there's, this is smooth and this has sort of like grip portions. That side will unplug so you can wrap it around the neck and plug it back in, however, whatever works easiest. And the on-off switch is right there. So this has two components. This little thing is an FM receiver. This is an FM wireless microphone that you or Neil will have. Speaking to that, it's going to transmit to the receiver. The receiver is going to pick up the voice. It's going to take the voice up into this unit and this unit is going to transmit it to the hearing aid okay. wirelessly. Okay, so it's wireless to this and then wireless from here to the hearing aid. So two wireless components. So this is going to go on his head, around his neck. Um, don't knot it, but you can kind of tape it around with his collar somehow. This has to be in the one dot position. The open dot is off. And there's a little switch here. Oh, okay. And you flip it over to the one dot position. Oh, okay. And then when you're done, you turn it off, and you turn it off over here. Um, let's see. Let's turn it on. Okay. And the green comes on, and it's on. All right. And this. One. Seconds, so Which you're looking at a four or five right. millisecond group delay. That seems about right. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to drop it down to uh, 59 here as soon as we get this complete. Which will be a 20 dB gain? Yes. Right. Looks like it. we open up. Looks like we're even picking up wave six here in the trough. this or drop 10? What do you think? Probably would replicate it once and then drop okay. 10. We're tempting the ADR gods at that moment. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> know. Pretty much a 4 to 5, maybe 4 to 6 millisecond delay from the digital processing. Mm -hmm. Which probably makes sense. I didn't replicate that one. Yeah, let's give it a shot right. Yeah, we're going to start to get a lot of in. Would it help if you stopped and gave him a drink? I think this is probably going to be about the last run we do. Okay. You can try to go 10 dB lower just to see if it cranks out or what. Yeah, I get with him panting at all, if we go too much lower, we're going to get into the noise floor of the booth. Yeah. I think, you know, if it was a human asleep, that'd be one thing. With the panting dog, I'm not sure how much below 52 dB we can reliably go. Bucket, yeah, you get a lot of head movement. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Oh. 